first off, amazing show, awesome. I already kind of expected it to be awesome, and it was. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So how, how was it for you guys? Uh, it was awesome. Um, we didn't know that we had so many fans in Portugal. Like, like, like when we before we came out, people were like chanting like our name, and I'm like, whoa, this is like amazing. This is really good. I mean, we came last year. We played this, a smaller festival, but uh -huh. this year it was just so crazy. Uh, you played uh, I, uh, Millions, I think. Yes. And I was never there, ever. Uh, this is actually <laughs> my first time over here in, yeah. at Recorda, so yeah. at Pernambuco, Pr 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 actually. So, you know, and I've been doing this for, this for a while, so <laughs> at least well, I'm uh, still catching awesome yes. bands like you guys. Uh, so, so. Another first thing that uh, struck my mind, uh, struck, struck me, I uh, not struck my mind. I, I apologize. I'm tired. Was uh, why rush? Okay, so uh, this is Hawk from the Legion of Doom or the Road Warriors. Correct. Yes. Yes. So is, is, was he your favorite wrestler? Because. But my one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> yeah, they're like one of my all-time favorites. Like you know the way they dress, their energy. Like you know what I mean. Like that shit was just uh, like we love wrestling coming up. Yeah. Loved Same wrestling. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah, we try to throw all those little elements of like childhood uh -huh. like memories in there. You know. <laughs> uh, aren't the, the Road Warriors the best of all time? Yeah. I, I think so. I think so. I think yes. So. You, you remember their outfits? I, it's yes. amazing. Yeah. They were so I punk, dude, punk. as well. Yeah, that shit was punk as fuck. You gotta fuck with the Dudley boys, too. We bought them Dudley boys. <laughs> TLC. Tables and army, army ladders kids. and chairs. <laughs> Get the tables. Get the fucking tables. Yeah. Do you know what? Like, when I was a kid, I grew, grew up on uh, on uh, wrestling and uh, and uh, the w, uh, WWF back at the time. Uh, back, yes. uh, back, uh, back, uh, back. We did. Uh, we did. Exactly, ah. exactly. I grew up on wrestling and then kind of quit because some it kind of got boring in the of early course. 90s yeah. and then came back to it and now I really enjoy it again. Yeah. And do you guys uh, uh, lo uh, like any wrestling now? I haven't I haven't paid attention to it. Cause I'm, I'm stuck back in the days. I, I, I need my Stone Cold. I need my Undertaker. Yeah. I need my DX, Shawn yes. Michaels. You know, I, I like yeah. look at like, wrestling now. Yes. I'm like, ah, fuck, man. Like Triple H. Like you know, all that shit. That was, that was tight. I'm just waiting you know? for that fucking glass to break. Da, 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 da. Yo, before yeah. the Dudley Boys, though, it was the Bushwhackers. The oh, Bush. Yeah. You remember they used to come yeah. out like like this. You know what I'm saying? Biting people and stuff like that. That shit was tight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We certainly got an upgrade with the Dudley Boys, I think. Oh, yeah, no, for <laughs> yeah. sure, for sure. Because the Bushwhackers, like, anyone who wasn't into wrestling got th two, th I think, I think <laughs> two things. Uh, first off was The Undertaker, like, that's not possible, that's not even yeah. feasible, that's not, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not believing that any, yeah. in, any, in, in any way. Yeah. <laughs> and the Bushwhackers were, like, stomping, I'm sorry, no. but they were, like, stomping and hitting, you know, like, <laughs> and, like, that's totally fake. And now, you know, fake, you know. You know who's the illest, though? NWO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they was the hardest because they just changed the game as far as, like, their contracts was up. And they're like, you know what? We tired of this shit. We don't want to dress up, dress up in costumes anymore. Uh -huh. We're going to start up our own group, and we're going to come out in jeans and leather vests and uh -huh. just beat the fuck out of people. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, and just take over. Like, you know, they, they took over everything. The branding, you know, like, when they come on the screen, everything just, like, <laughs> like, you know, black and white. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah, shit was yeah. tight, man. Like, they're one of my inspirations. If you've never seen the documentary, uh -huh. You should watch the documentary. No, no, I haven't, I haven't. No. Yo, you should watch the NWO documentary. That shit will change your life. And it, was, it could happen at any point. At any point. Yeah. Yeah. Like somebody would be fighting and they would just come out of the, 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 the audience out of nowhere. <laughs> Who was your favorite NWO member? Like uh, 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 Diesel, or I mean Scott, um, um, oh. Scott Hall and uh, Kevin Nash. Nash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood Hogan, bro. Come on, you know? Hollywood Hogan was the man. I have some limitations with, with, with Hulk Hogan oh, and Hollywood Hogan. He was weird, yeah, he was weird. I'm, I'm gonna go with the motherfucking worm. I knew you was gonna say that. Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman. he was the man. Dennis Rodman. Yes, uh, people who are not into wrestling, Dennis Rodman was in the NWO yeah. <laughs> for some time. And unfortunately, David Arquette was a champion of WCW <laughs> right? for a, a day, I think. But kind of ruined it for everyone for a while. Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs>
Well, guys, I think we should stop talking about wrestling, even though yeah, I could yeah, do this yeah, all okay. night, yeah, yeah. Uh, because maybe some people don't enjoy enjoy this at all. And, oh, I'm, I I love horror. I know, I and I hate wrestling, so I, uh, <laughs> this mix doesn't go well with for me. <laughs> doesn't go well with me. So, um, <laughs> but uh, okay. So, um, uh, what I was gonna uh, I was gonna ask something a little more serious, mm -hmm. which is, is it a relief for you guys to be in Europe? Because everything, yes. right? That's going on. Yeah, ever, just going on and has been going on for a while and yeah. since forever, I guess. Uh, I love Europe. I never in my lifetime thought I would come to Europe, especially to play a show in a band, uh, you know, because uh -huh. I wasn't doing this five years ago. Uh -huh. So Europe is like a long step. The farthest I thought I was going to leave New Jersey is go to California to visit and bring my ass right back home uh -huh. and go to work, let alone come to Europe um, all over, so this is like so surreal for me. Has there been has there been a point where it clicked? Like, oh, I can't really can't believe this is happening. Yeah, like the first time we came to Europe, I think uh, our first date was like London, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, like 2015, we were just like, whoa, we can't believe that we're on this plane like 10 hours to actually play a show overseas. Uh -huh. Like, you know, it was crazy. And then um, I think what the craziest thing about coming over here is that, um, like people know the music like when we go to certain places people know the music and then they recite the words like when I see people reciting the words to me that shit fucks my head up I'm just like I can't believe that you know the lyrics because I'm we from a small town where you know we never thought that it would get this far you know um, so yeah it is a good it is good to be in your uh, right now because obviously there are horrible things going back in our country but there's horrible things going on everywhere sure. I mean just today yeah. we read the Barcelona thing like you know oh, some dude, dude just like plowed yeah. into people yeah. you know what I mean yeah. so it's just like there's just stuff going on around the world and I, I'm, I'm grateful that we got to play a festival where people were uh, happy yeah. and it was love because yeah. yeah. there's evil things going on in the world but then you, people can also come together and have a good time, uh -huh. you know? So that, that's, that's awesome to me. We're on tour with the Dillinger uh, yeah. Escape Plan. Yeah. Yeah. They were just here last week and they're on the show as well. Yeah. So, Fuck. Ben, Tight. my man. <laughs> yeah, Ben was on the show, so love, love those guys. Awesome. How, 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 was, uh, how was it touring with them? It was, it was great. Uh, I loved every single second of it. It was <laughs> the most fun, exciting, adrenaline pumping shit you can ever imagine playing with who? the Dillinger Escape Plan. Yeah, because <laughs> who booked that? This is fucking genius. Like horror and horror and uh, Dillinger Escape Plan is a fucking. Well, uh, it it happened. Um, uh, their drummer, his name is Billy. Billy. Yeah. He happened to be at a show that we played in Brooklyn because uh -huh. he lives in Brooklyn, uh -huh. and he happened to be there. A friend, he just came with a, with a friend. He didn't he didn't know who we were, uh -huh. and then he saw it. and He was just like, "Whoa, this shit is crazy!" So he kept he, he wanted to. The crazy thing is, he he saw me after the show. He exchanged information with me, and I didn't know who he was because usually people come up to us after the show. They're just like, "Yo, I'm in a band. I would love to play with you guys." Blah, 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 and I, I didn't even, I was like, yeah, I'll take your information, blah, 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 whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then like, so I had a iPhone 4 at the time, it was a terrible phone, and then like, I lost his information, and then one day we were playing a show in Texas, Dallas. in Dallas, uh -huh. and then they were playing across the street from us, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then so he, they, they came to the show, he hit me up like, yo, we're playing across the street, and we're gonna come to the show. So then I saw the mess, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh shit, this guy from Dillinger Escape Plan, and You're it like, turned, no. it, yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and it turns out he, he messaged me to tell me that he wanted, they wanted to do the tour with us because they didn't have anyone to tour. So we missed that to that missed tour, it. the first one in the States. So then when we saw him, he was just like, yo, let's let's set it. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we saw him, and then he was just like, okay, let's set it up for for UK uh-huh. because we're we're gonna finish the states, and then we're gonna go to UK uh-huh. and Europe. Uh-huh. And then so we exchanged it, and then we made it happen because uh-huh. they were genuinely fans. That's like, awesome. You know, that's awesome. Yeah, actually, it's crazy. Um, so, uh, um, uh, kudos to you, Billy, for <laughs> coming up with this amazing idea. Billy's the man. Billy's the man. <laughs> Wikipedia that uh, Japan Panther was important in the formation of you guys oh, yeah, and, yeah. and other friends of the show, oh, Ian yeah. and Matt. Hey, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. And uh, so, okay, so um, the show, the name of the show is Made of Things, and it's based on the idea that uh, you guys dedicate yourselves to this uh, art you're doing mm-hmm. uh, because something happened in your life, or watched something, read something, heard something yeah. uh, that made you go, I want to do that forever, right. or as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you guys have that, and what was it? That we want to do something for the rest of our no, life. Like, what, what, what was like the what changing point? The that changing. Just, like you heard something. Did you? Like, yeah, exactly. Did you have? Did you have a, uh, a moment in which you clicked and or or or? Because uh, some people do, some people don't, and it's fine if you don't. But yeah. uh, this all just fell into my hands. <laughs> okay. Really, it's one big jack off sesh. <laughs> it just fell into my hands, really. <laughs> and um, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be in the motherfucking NBA. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dunking on people. I'm not even supposed to do music. I'm supposed uh, to be in the NBA right now. Okay, yeah. okay. For, for, me, for me, definitely, I always I always knew this shit was going to happen. Like, for sure. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my father was into music. Like, I didn't know what I was going to do at first. I always knew I wanted to do something in the in- entertainment realm. Uh-huh. But then when I started writing music, I, like, was passionate about it. When, I, when I'm passionate about something, I just go for it. Uh-huh. Like, I was broke as fuck. Uh-huh. Like, trying to play shows, trying to do shit, but I was still doing it because I just knew something was going to happen. And then I just linked up with this motherfucker. And then, like, we were friends, like, three, four years before we started the band. We didn't even know that we were going to make music because he never made music. And then I just uh-huh. got him to rap. And then, <laughs> boom, we just started doing this shit. <laughs> Ron, I'm coming for you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Thank we're, you. we're, we're on, uh, we're on call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. It's a pleasure, right? Thank you.